About 18 hours of excitement has built up to this point from Midnight Yell in Fort Worth. 41 wins later, Texas A&M now hosts a one-time conference power in South Carolina. Whether playing on this synthetic turf leads to more or less injuries remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, it will lead to a change in footwear. After what we saw here today, I'm asking myself why I'm standing outside instead of upstairs in that press box that Chancellor John Sharp called the best in the state. Johnny flipping football, wearing number two, giving the Redskins a number one and paying even more to the NFL soon. It's the last Tuesday in July, but it feels like a fall Saturday here at Kyle Field. All even at three. You have to guard the line in the late innings. Danny Zardone, who came in as a pinch hitter in the seventh, wins it with a chopper down the third base line, and LSU moves into first place in the SEC West with a walk-off 4-3 victory. There's a foam, but there's also air compression bubbles on the outside in hopes of preventing concussion. From Johnny Manziel to Johnny Mugshot to Johnny Football to Johnny Heisman to Johnny Bucket List to Johnny Hancock. Less than a week after being blown out in this building, by the Green Bay Packers, the Houston Texans season of first continues. The road to Omaha may be congested right now, but the Aggie baseball team is just happy it's sitting in traffic. Aggie Ryan Tannehill and the Dolphins in London against the Raiders on Sunday, and it doesn't seem to matter which country or what side of the pond Oakland is on, they're just not very good. A Mizzou capitalizes on the error, it's Bond, Brett Bond, slashing a hit to right, Ryan Howard heads home from second, Missouri on the board, it's a 2-1 to one game. Up 13 in the third, while driving to the hoop, completes a full 360, finishes off the window. This is what it looked like to the people with the expensive seats, minus of course the slow motion. One more time, if you were sitting on top of the backboard, Aggies get it back, and sometimes the best things in life are spontaneous, like a busted play. Hill keeps the football, has the first down and a lot more. Number seven running with a purpose, a pickup of 58. Blake Sims all alone out of the gun, uncorks a bomb to a wide open Kenyon Drake. Hold on, he's going home. 87 yards, Bama strikes first. Instead of kicking, they go for two and get burned. The Wildcats fumble, Mark Wagner scoops it up and hopefully he brought the oxygen tank goes 99 yards. Today's World Cup update is not recommended by four out of five dentists. Uruguay's Luis Suarez appeared to bite an Italian defender during their match today. Suarez has been suspended two other times in his career for biting an opponent. Afterwards, he didn't give teeth to the story, not confirming or denying the bite, saying, quote, these are just things that happen out on the pitch. Uruguay beat Italy 1-0, always remember the floss. A huge crowd to witness Ian Kinsler return to Texas. The second baseman goes yard off his former teammate Colby Lewis in his first at bat of the game. The battle of the two best major league teams in Texas is the Rangers visit the Astros. It's hard to believe J. Pierre and CB is hitting under 200 because he always seems to make the highlights. Who's editing these things? In her first year on campus, just 31 games into her initial collegiate softball season, Tori Vidalis has led her bat and gaudy offensive numbers do most of the talking for the Aggies playing in the country's top conference. The SEC is unbelievable with talent. I mean, every single team you play is going to be a challenge. So far, she hasn't seemed challenged by much of anything. Heading into this weekend series with Alabama, number five leads the Ags with eight home runs, 26 runs batted in, and her 337 batting average ranks second on the team, all while posting a 948 fielding percentage at the hot corner. She plays beyond her years, um, and that just speaks volumes for her, and she's always been that type of player. You know, she's very um, impactful, both on defensive and offensively, and I think she just kind of like handles that hot corner well, and she, she plays beyond her years. She's extremely competitive at all times and really knows how to brush off a failure or a, a bad at bat and come back and do just be even better the next time. So just the way she handles herself with a real sense of maturity and uh, a, a real understanding of the game is, is exceptional really for a freshman. But she's just that, a freshman. A year ago, she was preparing for her senior prom. Now she's strutting through the SEC. So what brought Tori to Texas A&M? I love the feeling and the atmosphere here. When I came here, I felt like I was right at home and I just loved the um, 
the welcoming feeling that everyone had here and it's just such a great place to go to school I mean everyone knows if you're going to A&M so one day someone's going to be calling you boss so I know it's just a great university to be at and the softball program is amazing.